morning, y'all. My name is Brashe. For those of you who don't know who Brashe is, go subscribe right now so you can figure out who Brashe is. And if you are returning, I am glad to have you back. Um, but as you can tell from the description of this title, I am going to be doing a ponytail on my short twa. Is that how you say it? Twa? I think it's called Twa. I'm kind of new to the community, so I'm not even really sure. Is it TWA? I, I don't really know. But this is my first time actually attempting something like this on my hair. Um, I'm a little nervous because um, I don't know how it's going to go. But I mean, I guess we're going to find out. Um, as you can see, this is the length of my hair right now. Uh, it's... It is longer up top than it is like in the back because the last time I cut my hair, like I had got my hair shaved in the back. Like I had a ball fade, y'all. So all of it really doesn't even go up into a ponytail. So I don't know how this is gonna work, but we are going to attempt to try this out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I think I'm just gonna do a straight back ponytail with some baby hairs so i'm starting off with some blow dry hair and i blow dry my hair just because i feel like it's going to match the hair texture better opposed to if i didn't blow dry it and it's kind of hair that i just got laying around the house um but i'm just gonna start off um by parting my hair ear to ear that I am going to use to slick down my hair is going to be the got to be uh ultra glue the invent the invincible invisible invisible styler gel and so I normally use eco styler or I use extreme gel but for this particular hairstyle I feel like I should use this one only because I feel like eco styler curls my hair up a little bit too much and of course the got to be glue free spray just to kind of keep my hair you know intact So I'm going in with rubber bands to tie my hair and don't come on here saying whatever I got to say. Like I know rubber bands really aren't the best for that for my hair. I mean for your hair. But I do feel like it'll probably have a really good hold for me. And I feel like my hair just isn't long enough for hair bows just yet. Like I, they kind of slip out of my hair. So I feel like this is like the best hold. I'm using just some, uh, the Super Stretch Soft and Springy. Uh, rubber bands from Walmart. They were like 97 cents. Um, it says, will not, emphasis on not, break your hair. Um, I don't even know if that's true or not.
kind of knew that like my back, as y'all can see, it wasn't going to want to go all the way up into the ponytail. But it's okay because I'm just going to slick, try to slick it down, um, going up into the ponytail. And then when I wrap my hair, hopefully it stays. So I'm just gonna go and lay down the rest of my hair and then we'll see what it looks like once it's laid. Okay y'all, so I got my hair slicked down. I'm gonna got some flyaways in the back, but it's okay because we're gonna take care of that once I lay my hair down and with some bobby pins. I went in with some, I did this off camera, um, but I put some, some jam in my hair as well. And the reason why I like jam is just because I feel like it kind of gives your hair that shine. And I kind of like it. Like I don't like my hair to look too dry. But now I'm gonna go in with my got to be glue free spray. And I'm just gonna oh, okay. go in just so I can get that hole um, and get rid of those flyaways as well. Let's do these baby hairs and um if y'all aren't new here and y'all seen my other hair video y'all know that i am not the best with doing baby hairs like i cannot really grasp the process but i don't know i i've never been but it's okay though we about to make it work
take some of this um styling wrap and I'm just gonna let my edges down. hair so I'm going to use a pack of this uh, spectra hair braiding hair and this is color, what color is this? this is 350 and then we're going to take the braiding hair I'm just going to attach it on there so I'm just going to take out a section of hair and leave it out Okay, y'all, so I'm having technical difficulties because I am realizing that the braid is not long enough. Meaning, I have to add hair into the braid and I'm not really good with that. So, I don't really know how to do all of that. So, I'm just going to go off camera and practice and attempt a little bit. And then when I come back, it'll be the finished look. Okay, y'all, so for one, I had some trouble with getting my hair to lay right once I started braiding my hair because you know my hair is short. It was well, it's shorter in the back and it was shorter on the sides. So like trying to get it to lay correctly was definitely difficult. I need some freaking Gorilla Glue to lay my freaking hair down. Gorilla Glue, that's what the freak I should've used. And be like the Gorilla Glue girl because I promise you that thing probably would've been laid and slayed, honey. I promise you it probably would have been laid and slave, but that's okay. So yeah, y'all see them leg, them edges. Now y'all better stop playing with me. But yeah, so I am actually, I am kind of excited about this process and I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out. Um, a little scared because I'm not sure how my hair is gonna lay down once I really take this off, but hopefully this molds it into how it needs to be. But other than that, yeah, so I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. So it's the morning time. We're about to see these results. I know y'all thinking, did she got the same thing she had on yesterday? Yes. I fell asleep in it and I'm up. So mind your business. Cause you in my business. Don't do that. Um, but y'all, I have already dipped the braid to seal it. And I put my lashes on. And the reason why I put my lashes on, I know y'all thinking, okay, girl. Obviously it's the morning time. But the after video has to be a little different from the beginning video. And I didn't have lashes on, so I had to get right. But look at these lashes. Get into them, though. Get into these lashes. Yes, this is my go-to lash right here, y'all. Like, love them. Let's see what we working with. All right, honey, this is the end result right here. I actually would have loved for my ponytail to be just a tad bit more higher so you can see it. But the reason being of why I could not do that was because my hair's not long enough. So the back would have not reached all the way. But what do y'all think? Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think these results is. For one, honey, I'm loving it, honey. I am loving it. My braid is a little, and this turned out really good, especially for my first time. I've actually never really tempted this on my short hair um, before. So I actually think that it actually did come out pretty good. Um, I know y'all probably seen it like right here. It's probably like a little bulge, but that comes from, I actually had a hard time um, adding the hair in, so that was that. But other than that, yes, and period. That's how you clear, bitch. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and you would love to see more content like this from me, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.